Hey everyone, this is Mr. Isaiah. Hope you guys are doing well. Today I'm going to show you a little bit about the acoustic guitar. Okay everyone, so first thing is we need to know the names of the strings of the guitar. So starting from the top over here, we have E, A, D, G, B, E. And they also go by numbers. And it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six. So let me do that again. E, A, D, G, B, E. And first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Now, these squares on the guitar, this part is called the neck, and these squares are called frets. So we have fret number one, fret number two, fret number three, four, five, and so on. For now, we'll focus on the first three. Now we have to talk about our fingers. Just like the strings have numbers, our fingers also have numbers that help us know where our fingers go, on which string and which fret. So my first finger, your index finger, is number one. Then we have two for your middle finger, three for your ring finger, and number four for your pinky. So once again, one, two, three, four. Now I'm going to teach you guys two chords so that you can actually play some music. The chords of C and the chords of G. So let's remember our fingers. One, two, three, four. Our frets. One, two, three. And let's rem remember our strings. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or we can remember E, A, D, G, B, and E. So to make it easy, we're going to put our finger, I mean our pinky, number four, on string number one, or the E string. And we're going to take finger number three, or our ring finger, and put it on string number two, also known as the B string. And we're going to leave, we're going to leave those two fingers there all the time for these two chords. Now, for the C chord, what we're going to do is we're going to take our, let's do our middle finger. Finger number two, we're going to keep it in fret three, right, this third box, and we're going to put it on string number five, also known as the A string. We're going to take finger number one, our index finger, we're going to put it in fret number two, and we're going to put it on the fourth string, also known as the D string, and put it here. For this one, we're going to take our thumb we're going to place it slightly on top of this big fat string known as the E string so that when you hit it, it doesn't really make noise. And you can still hit it on your way down when you strum and it'll sound like this when you hit all the strings together. Now for your G chord, remember we're going to keep it simple. These two fingers stay right where they're at and these two fingers stay in the same frets, but they both move up a string. And that's it. So this is our C chord. Now we move them both up one. So we move our, in, our middle finger to the top and our first finger up one. And that, now we have our G chord. So now we have our C and our G. Sound, it sounds like some music. Next week, I'll teach you two new chords and I'll teach you how to strum so you can go from this to something like this.